ओके फ्रेंड्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी बी लुकिंग एट प्रीवियस बटन रिवर्स बटन प्ले पॉज फॉरवर्ड बटन एंड नेक्स्ट बटन विल स्विच बैक टू द कोर्ट स्क्रीन सो ओवर हेयर वी कैन सी वी हैव मेड द वेरेबल ऑफ ऑल दोज बटन्स प्ले पॉज फॉरवर्ड रिवर्स नेक्स्ट एंड प्रीवियस सो लेट्स गो टू ऑन क्रिएट मेथड नाउ ओवर है वी आर इनिशलाइजिंग ऑल दीज वेरेबल्स एंड असाइनिंग अ क्लिक लिस्नर टू एवरी वन एंड देन ऑन द ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर सो दिस इज द कोड फॉर ऑल द बटन्स सो दिस इज पॉज बटन प्ले बटन फॉरवर्ड बटन रिवर्स बटन नेक्स्ट एंड प्रीवियस बटन सो इन पॉज वॉट वी आर डूइंग वि चेकिंग इफ प्लेयर इज प्लेइंग इफ इट इज प्लेइंग विल पॉज द प्लेयर एंड विल सेट द पॉज विजिबिलिटी एज गॉन एंड प्ले विजिबिलिटी एज विजिबल सो द पॉज बटन विल बी इन विजिबल एंड प्ले बटन विल बी विजिबल वाइस ऑफ वर्स ऑफ फॉर दिस फॉर प्ले बटन इफ इट्स नॉट प्लेइंग स्टार्ट प्लेइंग एंड hide the pause button and show the play button so in the forward button forward 30 seconds button we are getting the we are using the player dot seek to function player dot get current position plus 30 seconds so 30 seconds in milliseconds and reverse button get position minus 30 seconds so again 30 seconds in milliseconds so now we come to the next and previous button for next and previous button we have to have a array so in a array we will have two videos so again we'll come back to this on create method so video type now is an array and inside this array we are uh, telling the player that our first video is hls and second video is a mp4 or a other type of format video so i have given the name others uh, and video url for both these videos first video is m3 weight so hls and second video is mp4 so the other type of videos and the video title for both first one is big bug bunny and second one is a movie trailer okay now we are setting the title over here so for title we have to set we have also have to make a get track index as a variable initially it will be pointing to zero it is an integer variable over here it is initialized at zero so it will be pointing to the hls video hls url and title as a big bug bunny so over here we are setting uh, text view as title text view as big bug bunny and now we coming uh, will be uh, we will also be learning about how to implement an mp4 video so to learn how to implement mp4 video in an exo player we uh, have to visit the execute function again so previously it was the execute function was only handling the hls video now it will be also handling an mp4 or uh, any other type of a video so over here as you can see the array is maintained the current track index is maintained if the if it is greater than video track length uh, video title dot length so if it is greater than that we are again setting it to minus length dot minus 1 in short we are seeing over here that get current uh, get track index variable should not be minus 1 or it shouldn't be greater than the array length so it is handled over here and now we are again setting the title over here the text view now coming to the build renderer function so in get lib renderer builder we are switching the types 
according to the current track so our current track is hls so it will go in hls so now suppose if our current type is others so we are implementing a mp4 video so it will come over here and now we have made a separate class for this mp4 implementation so let's look at that class over here in this class passing the context over here user agent over here and the uri of the video over here so over here see we are passing this context means the application context so over here this the user agent user agent is this string variable and then video url so the mp4 url this one we are passing in this constructor and it comes over here and then we are calling the build renders fun uh, renders function from here so build render is called so now let's look at this build renders function so inside this function we are actually uh, coding for all other formats including at mp4 so in this function the code actually is written from the demo player given by exo player team so it is exactly as same as on the website of github so as you can see a locator is made a main handler is called and we are building the video and audio renderers over here and then we are passing it back to the video player dot java so the on renderers implement uh, so the on renderers is called in video player dot java so this is the function on renderers over here we get both those renderers video and audio and then after we get those both renderers we push the surface push it to the surface then our mp4 video starts pl playing So uh, with this we have also implemented mp4 video and now let's go and check our next and previous button. So there is a simple code for that for next and previous button. Over here as you can see I am releasing the player so I am we are actually killing the player then we are incrementing the index and then again we are calling the execute players so the player is again reinitiated so in the previous it is vice versa we are releasing the player decrementing the index and again calling the execute function so this is the coding part and now let's check on the device Okay friends, so now let's check the controls. Uh, let's first check the control play and pause. Okay, it's working. Now let's check the control plus 30 seconds. It's working fine. Now let's check reverse 30 seconds. First let's... Okay. That is also working. And now let's check the uh, next button to load the next video. As you can see, the duration has become zero because the next video is loading and this is the next video now uh, let's check 
the previous button to do the previous video again we are back to big bug bunny so that's it guys